so I've had a big change in plans. <laughs> I uh, got hit by another big storm yesterday as I was getting to camp. And I'm not sure, I guess when I was setting up my tent in the storm, um, I was on a big incline. It looked somewhat flat when I was there, but when I got it set up, I was on a slope. It was terrible. But uh, water got inside my tent and pulled at the toe, and I didn't realize it. So when I threw my sleeping bag in, um, it got really wet, and it's down. <laughs> and down doesn't retain its warmth whenever it gets wet. So my clothes, I had a bunch of cl soap clothes, so I had to get into my reserve, like night dry clothes. And that's what I'm wearing today. Luckily, I had kept my mid layer in a dry bag too. So I've got that and my night clothes on with rain pants because <laughs> that's all that I have that's dry. Everything else is soaking. And there's more forecasted rain and I have no way to dry this stuff out. So that could be very dangerous up here, especially after being so hypothermic yesterday. So I looked at the map and found a uh, bailout point that'll take me to this Williams Creek Reservoir, which is way back on some uh, forest roads near Pagosa. So I messaged Steve and the plan is he's going to pick me up there. I'm going to hike out. Um, I'm bummed because I was looking forward to the next sections, but with the forecast and with everything being soaking wet, the smart thing to do is to, uh, hike out now and uh, come back and hike that section another day. But uh, it's been an adventure. <laughs> Learned a lot of things and um, looking Look forward to the fog below. <sighs> Great. Everything out here is so wet. <laughs> Wonder what this trail that I'm taking is going to be like. It's actually like a series of three trails. I'm going to link up. I don't really have any beta on them, so I'm not sure what to expect. There's been a lot of blowdowns here, so I don't know. Um, and this one, you can tell it's been maintained because there's a lot of cut trees that have been moved out of the way. So hopefully they maintain those trails too. So we'll find out. I've got like 10 to 11 miles to that exit point at the reservoir. Well, that's my trail. Once again, no switchbacks, straight up. Oy. This is kind of cool. <sighs> nice ridge. They just weren't so steep. It's like walking in the movies when somebody's in a dream. All the mist. Oh, I got a big climb here. I'm like about seven tenths of a mile from my turn off of the CDT. I really wish I could keep going. Um, yeah, I just can't because I'm in my reserve. I don't have reserve clothes to my reserves. And if I just knew I could get stuff dry, it would be one thing. But if I was really out here on the CDT, it's the same thing I would do. I would find a bailout, get into a town, get everything dry. Oh, this is a big mama climb. I couldn't tell how high it got from back there. So, man, this must hit 12,000 again. I've, I've begun my descent off the CDT. I'm on the Palisades Meadow Trail. I think it takes me down elevation pretty quickly. So, the fog's trying so hard to clear. It'd be lovely to see some sunshine. This trail is taking me down, down into the forest. That big tree, that big tree fell right over the trail. So I had to walk through all those wet bushes. But I'm wearing my rain pants, so that's good. Oh, that's really pretty. These must be the Palisade Meadows down below. Almost there. Boy, this is a wet trail. These plants are soaking wet, so I'm so glad. And my rain pants. But my socks and shoes are soaked through. Well, they already were. <laughs> I came across some deer and one of them is like an albino. Okay, it's, oh, there it is. That's so cool. It's so pretty. I've never seen one that color. Hi. 
you're beautiful. Hello. You're so curious. I'm wondering what this crazy hiker is. Hi. Hi, pretty. You're pretty and unique. I've never seen one like you before. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna hike on, okay? See you guys. Good jumpers. I wish I could do that. I could get over this tree a lot easier. Bye. I am down in that beautiful meadow. Just saw my dear friends. And I just kind of figure out where the trail goes because it's pretty overgrown. It's so pretty. I'm gonna grab some water because it looks like a good water source. And I don't know what's up ahead. So now I'm on the Indian Creek Trail and this will follow this river valley down and join up with the Williams Creek Trail and then take me out to the reservoir. Oh, that's so nice. It's a beautiful day right now. Down the waterfall we go. All right, made it down. Onward. I bet there's brook trout in this creek. We got nice little pools. Good brook. Really pretty. A lot of down trees to navigate. That's a big tree. Glad the trail dips. I think I'll be able to walk under it. Almost. Hmm, looks like I have a potential log crossing. Yeah. Oh, made it down. I'm almost to the junction with Williams Creek Trail. And I'll take that to the reservoir. It's pretty. Aspen. I made it to Williams Creek. I gotta get across. <laughs> and there's logs conveniently. So as long as it don't fall, it's good. Did a little climb up out of that river valley. The river bed. That's pretty. I'm just following this Williams Creek trail back. Really pretty. A little waterfall over the log. This is really nice. Let me chill out here for a little while. This is really beautiful. Wow, it's impressive. Nice trail. This is made for horses, so it's wide. It's been nice on the feet.